Hey guys, welcome back. Good to see you today. I've got another Blu-ray mail haul for you guys. Uh, some great stuff that I just picked up. Uh, excited to share it with you guys. So let's get to it right away. First off the top, the newly minted Scream Factory release of the original 1981 remastered uh, My Bloody Valentine. Now this was, of course, released a couple years ago by Lionsgate and Maple Pictures. Uh, and they re-edited the footage back in, but the footage they put back in wasn't cleaned up the same as the rest of the film. So every time you saw one of these deleted scenes, it would kind of pull you out of the movie because it was kind of a glaring uh, quality difference, if you will. Uh, this one's been cleaned up. Uh, so those edited scenes put back in are completely seamless. And if you didn't know the movie, you would not know what scenes were cut out and put back in. Spectacular job that they've done here on this. Um, now, most of the extras are the same on both of these. There may be one or two things that are slightly different. So I might still hang on to this one if you have it. Maybe maybe just double check it, uh, you know, or keep it. Uh, but this 4K scan is, is spectacular, guys. And, uh, you know, they've got the reversible artwork as well. So this is the artwork it comes with. Now, I've already reversed the artwork to the original cover. Man, because I love this cover. This and, like, the Prowler, like, those really stand out in my mind when I was a youngster in the video store. You know, I'd see this and just... I would sit there and stare at this thing forever. Like, just one of the great... And there's nothing really overly exciting about it, but just something about the eyes and the whole thing. Like, as a kid, you're looking at this going, what is this? It's like blood on this guy's mask. It's spectacular. So, pretty cool. Uh, there's the discs inside. You can see the reversible artwork in the background. Uh, but yeah, disc one is the theatrical version, and disc two is the uh, uncut version. Uh, you know, if you want to watch either one, right? So, pretty cool. Great flick. I uh, just rewatched it the other day, of course. And uh, just a great uh, release by uh, Show Factory there. And like I say, most of the uh, extras are the same. Uh, maybe a few different there. And uh, just, a, just a solid release. So if you haven't had a chance to pick that one up, guys, I would greatly take a look at it. Because uh, it is a definite improvement over this release right here. All right, next up. One of my favorite flicks of all time, guys. Love and a 45. Probably the only movie with Renee Zellweger that I actually like her in. Um, great movie. Now, as a fan of this movie, like for years, I, I was trying to find the best quality version you know, as far as picture quality. And I finally tracked down the uh, Italian... Uh, was this the Italian? Yes, it was. Uh, version of this. And at the DVD version. And it's really good picture quality, like really, really cleaned up nicely. Uh, I've stuck it inside this case here, and I have the original flipper disc uh, from back in the day, uh, North American release, which was, was okay, but you know, nothing nothing great. Back in the day it was fine, but but uh, then lo and behold, this comes along, uh, put up by NSM Records uh, in Germany, and it's region free. And it says region B on the back, but it's it is region free on my player now. For some reason, if yours doesn't play, if you get it, don't call me. All right, but uh, it, it does say region B on the back, but it does play in my my region A player, Sony player. Um, but yeah, just just a great all around film. Really, really like this one. Um, we've got some audio commentary by the directors, uh, trailer, etc. And it comes with the Dutch uh, Dutch. They always say Deutsch on here, so I always, I always say that. But it, it comes with a German audio and an English uh, audio on the back, uh, if, you, if you're so inclined. So there you go. Uh, loving a 45, guys. Great pickup. Uh, really excited to uh, re-watch this. And, um, yeah, just an all-around good flick. If you haven't seen it, guys, check it out. Definitely a classic uh, from 1994. Or was it 96? This is 94, I believe. Or, yeah, 94 Trimark Pictures. Next up, Barry J. Gillis, guys. Wicked World. Now this, if you aren't familiar with Barry J. Gillis, he is the character who came up with uh, the Canadian uh, classic from 1989, Things. Uh, kind of fit right in with that sort of shot on video kind of stuff. It wasn't shot on video, but uh, kind of had that feel to it and was, it was kind of blended in with all those films back in the day. I'm a big fan of the SOV stuff, but this is his follow-up, 1991. I've never seen it. Wicked World. Uh, really excited to check this out. Special features, new transfer from three-quarter inch master tape. Uh, unseen 2019 director's cut, uh, behind-the-scenes documentary, uh, music video, and more. 
Uh, notice this movie was shot on 16 mil and edited on tape. The transfer is taken from the original master tape. So, but uh, from what I've seen of the trailer on the AGFA website, uh, man, just like this surreal gore kind of crazed story. Just it's a weird looking picture. Uh, you know, like it says on the back, straddles the on the front straddles the gap between avant-garde and unflinching stock and slash. So definitely excited to have this in a collection and check it out, guys. Uh, if you get a chance, Wicked World. And another one put out by the American Genre Film Archive is Scary Movie, starring Academy Award nominee John Hawks. If you guys don't know this one, this is a fun one. I'll just read you the back. Never, never legitimately distributed until this very moment, Scary Movie is a joyous horror triumph starring Academy Award nominee John Hawks. On Halloween night... Uh, Big-time nerd Warren Hawks, channeling a mix of Buster Keaton and Crispin Glover, attends a spook house in a small Texas town. But is the haunted house as home harmless as it seems, or has a psychotic mental patient found a new stomping ground? Shot in Austin, Texas, scary movie combines Argento-esque neon, Freddy Krueger dreamscapes, and slapstick inspired by Evil Dead 2 to forge a valentine to Halloween, rubber monster masks, and chopped off limbs. From the songs by Roki Arison... Erickson and butthole surfers to the surrealistic mood. This is a true discovery for adventurous horror heads. And that is true. This is a fun one. I love to watch this on Halloween. I've never had a copy like this, so I'm pretty stoked for next Halloween. But just a kooky picture. It was never really released properly. Uh, 2K preservation from the original 16mm camera negative. Commentary, etc., etc. And a couple short films by Daniel Erickson as well, guys. Uh, it is full screen. But uh, there you go, guys scary movie if you have not seen this uh it's worth a look uh you may not like it i think it's really cool it's got a great vibe to it and the way they describe it here is pretty accurate uh, a lot of fun and last but not least guys let me just oh, grab that yeah there we go last but not least finally we finally get a copy thank you arrow films for this thank you thank you thank you my bootleg copy can get trashed now I, mean, I do have the vhs kicking around but uh ah, here we go finally edge of the freaking axe guys man that's gonna look good sitting up there i mean really uh one of the few slashers that i'm kind of missing that are available uh there's nothing silent about knights in paddock county yep from spanish cult direct uh, filmmaker jose ramon laraz uh, vampires and symptoms of course Comes this long neglected late 80s slasher classic, finally unleashed on Blu ray for the first time ever. Now, this is uh, region free, regions A, B, and C, special edition contents, brand new 2K restoration, English and Spanish language versions of the feature, original uncompressed mono audio, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, newly transferred English subtitles for the Spanish soundtrack, brand new audio commentary. Uh, okay. Gerald's Game, a newly filmed interview with actor Barton Falks. The Actor's Grind, a newly filmed interview with actor Paige Mosley. The Pain in Spain, a newly filmed interview with special effects and makeup artist Colin Arthur, etc., etc., etc. So, here we go. Look at this. We've got some of the original artwork in there. I've never been a fan of that artwork. Of course, we're familiar to this artwork here in North America. But the, the artwork they've come up with here is, is quite good. Um, but yes, we finally get this picture, guys. Uh, and like a late, late 80s uh, slasher, right? Let's see here. We got a little thing. Why don't you just die? A little, little postcard here. Um, but yeah, a nice little booklet, as you can see here, uh, as well, with, uh, you know, various pictures inside. Let's see here. Yeah, you know, you get the idea. Just a fun one all around. Just an enjoyable feature. Always liked it. Is it the greatest movie in the world? No, but you know, for a late period slasher, highly enjoyable, guys. So, and like I said, this one's region free, Arrow Video. If you guys have a chance, take a look at Edge from Edge of the Axe. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Hope you guys enjoyed that, guys. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know next videos are coming out. Uh, stay tuned for a Slasher Rewind where we review all these 80 slashers in chronological order. Uh, you know, basically from 80 to 89, which this will be. 
Edge of the Axe. Uh, VHS Thrift Falls, I think I said that already. Blu-ray uh, collection updates, mail haul, stuff like this as well, guys. Please leave some comments below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.